The Alternative Futures exhibition asks the question, how can we use design as a tool to open new avenues of opportunity for Chilimen's 300-year heritage? The exhibition grew out of five years of interaction between Kyoto Design Lab, Kyotango weavers and textile engineers, and the young designers who took part in D-Lab's annual textile summer school. In Kyotango, they observed how Chilimen was woven, processed and used, and a workshop was held with local producers to generate new scenarios for the cloth. Returning to D-Lab, the designers transformed Chilimen's surface graphically, hacked the material or embedded technology into its woven structure so that new product applications could be envisaged. The 15 designers and artists from eight countries in this exhibition were invited to celebrate Chilimen's 300th anniversary of production by doing the same. What is Tango Chilimen? Chilimen is the generic name for silk kimono fabric in which right-laid and left-laid raw silk yarn are alternated in the weaving process. The weft is twisted between three to 4,000 times per meter and the warp up to 1,200 times. A wide vocabulary of textures is made possible through manipulation of the twist ratios, the yarn denier used and the weave structure itself. The sericin coating is then removed in alternating baths of boiling alkaline water. This results in the weft yarn trying to untwist and the fabric shrinks by up to 30%. The cloth is then recalibrated to the required size. This combination of factors is responsible for Chilimen's characteristic raised pattern of fine textured crimps and its distinctive drape leading to its preeminence as a kimono fabric. The Alternative Futures designers have taken different design approaches. Portuguese designer Lydia Lopez has combined traditional techniques with contemporary materials to fuse past and present, Portugal and Japan. Her Rufo series stylistically references the costume worn in the first encounters between Japan and Portugal in the 16th century. Unscarred Tango Chirimen plays a new role as a structural material for the folding cylindrical structures. Each supports a small 3D printed or wood container in the centre with the cover or base in Portuguese rattan. Martin Ray the experimental French lacquer artist who trained in Kyoto has explored the potential of urushi for many years. Combining it with other media, she invents techniques to realize her vision. In her one series, she's laminated tango chilimen to create a series of translucent lacquered bowls as light as the air that marry the separate worlds of urushi and tango chilimen. This project is a collaborative research uh, between Japan and France. I regularly collaborate with craftsmen in Japan and artists, uh, in particular in the area of Kyoto. In the past, Chilimen was finer and softer with a more open structure. The Kyoto Prefectural Center for Northern Industry recreated this older type of Chilimen and sent it to Paris-based textile and costume designer Oro Tibu. For this collaborative work, she's used katazome stencil dyeing and plant-based dyes to create a subtly ch changing landscape expressed dramatically in her signature costume form. Two designers have interrogated Chilimen's structure and production method to physically hack it or create a new hybrid material. Shioka Okamoto links new technology with traditional processing methods. Sensory Pleasure proposes an alternative way of processing silk Chilimen waste, which runs to two meters per roll. She's laser cut the unscarred fabric and then boiled it, removed the sericin, causing it to shrink and become three-dimensional in texture. Hi, my name is Scarlett Yang and I'm a multidisciplinary designer based in London. For this project, I combine biodesign, digital fabrication and 3D rendering in my practice to propose potential sustainable solutions to our current environmental issues. I investigated in the Chilimen textile manufacturing process and by recycling the wastewater used to wash on the silk fibre within the factory, I developed biotextile samples with silk cocoon protein called selicin to replace any chemical or plastic ingredient in design objects. 
The process speculates the possibilities on utilizing silicon waste to engineer three-dimensional textures, introducing traditional and organic tulumen production into a new perspective of material innovation and sustainability. Yarn twist and rod and jacquard weaving are fundamental to Tango Chilimen production. Singaporean designer Tiffany Loy's metamorphosed triptych explores the potential of high twist silk yarn alone to expand the range of material properties in textiles. All three pieces have the same weave structure. Through the strategic composition of different yarn materials, post weaving dyeing and degumming, however, a variety of forms and textures were achieved. Each piece was flat and crisp on the loom, but when dipped into a vat of soda dye or soda ash, they came alive, crinkling into their final forms. My name is Milou Forinden. I have a background in product design and I'm still very interested in three-dimensional structures and weaving products directly on the loom. For this project, I collaborate with Dr. Kaori Ueda. We met at the Textile Summer School in 2018. We decided to use this yarn for uh, our project. It's a um, high twist silk with an S twist. And in Chiriman, these yarns are alternated, um, so it can create a, a structure in the fabric.私たち二人は織物の中でも特にジャガードリに興味を持っています。二人とも共通の織物のソフトウェアを持っていたことがきっかけとなり、様々な共通点を見つけることができました。二人でどのようなジャイを作れるかということを考え、全く今までに見たこと
She creates a colour background and then fills it with countless circles in low relief with a ballpoint pen. Her work is printed on Tango Chirimen with a pronounced texture as a dialogue between its dynamic graphic qualities and the fabric, as well as on unscoured Chirimen. Misuzu Seiko's consistent theme is the beauty of summer fireworks. She pools pigment on paper and, using a straw, blows patterns of elongated lines. Fireworks has been printed on highly textured Tango Chirimen to enhance its dynamic lines. Drawing has been Hiroko Kawabe's major means of communication since childhood. She selects her subject matter from any printed source with images and transposes them in a unique way. This work is digitally inkjet printed on unscarred Tango Chirimen to indicate possible new sustainable applications for remnants of the cloth, either as graphic products or for artworks as an alternative to paper or canvas. Craft traditions are often seen as immutable, but for designers they exist to learn from, subvert and exploit in new and exciting ways. This is especially true where they involve a material and process three centuries old. On this continuum of innovation, materials experimentation and creativity allied to the risk of extinction become the greatest drivers of change. Long live Chidimen.